Hello Tubes. As Conference Report used to say, I've been thinking about something. In my case, what would it mean precisely for a left, politically speaking, to be in regress? Now I'm not sure that Majid Nawaz's use of the phrase is entirely effective. Um, he seems to be using it to chide people who would who regard themselves or call themselves liberals or who he thinks would call themselves liberals um, for not holding to the core principles of liberalism as he conceives it uh, which is in terms of uh, universal human rights um, that is rights that any rational person a rational individual could see as holding for all similarly situated peoples. Now, the problem with that, of course, is that uh, one doubts that the people who he is um, attacking with this epithet are indeed universal Enlightenment liberals. One suspects that they're keenly aware of the historical differences in power that mean that not everybody in the modern world is equally situated and that consequently they're not as impressed with um, the universality of Enlightenment principles like human rights as Nawaz suspects they are. So they probably wouldn't regard themselves as liberals, call themselves liberals, or be that upset by um, being accused of violating the principles of uh, universal human rights. So I'm not sure his criticism in that regard hits home quite as hard as it's supposed to. But that's not of course to rule out it's having um, rhetorical force because um, there still is an idea, a uh, sort of faith in, in inevitable progress that you get when you hear people talking about um, history being on their side or that their justification for something is that it's the current year as opposed to the past. Um, and that's worth, that's worth challenging because that's a fallacy. Sometimes things get worse, you know, and it's just as much a fallacy to put it the other way around like conservatives do and think that things are always getting worse and we're, we're, we're moving away from a golden age of which is set in the past. You know, there's an ironic way in which I am a uh, regressive leftist, in that I think that the postmodern new left, with its focus on identity politics and its tendencies towards existentialism and interpretivism, um, is a little less desirable than the old left in some ways, with its focus on economics and its more systematic approach, uh, its, its greater respect for reason and science. So, do I want to go back? To the old left. Uh, okay, I think he's got something to teach us, but you can't go back to the old left. You can't go back in history. Once you start talking about large macro scale phenomena like socio political phenomena, um, you can't go back. I'm sorry, the laws of physics, entropy, it's against you. It's not going to happen. I mean, I can't be a Marxist because I disagree with German ideas and I disagree with Hegel. I don't think that history progresses or, or conflict between peoples progresses in terms of um, class struggle. Um, my, I'm, I'm much more impressed by Darwin than Hegel as a metaphysician. Um, and, and I think that Marx himself recognised that uh, Darwin's theories were the end of a mind-led um, development of history or mind-led process but strangely he just failed to apply that to his own theory um, but why would uh, history progress along, along the lines of a, a mental process a synthesis of thesis and antithesis but anyway I digress and I think this is where the idea of uh, normative and epistemic regress come in. Not as regress, but as a kind of decadence, in that there's a, an, an undermining of emancipatory, progressive uh, intentions um, by people who you would expect to promote them. 
it's basically a, another claim of incompetence, as is the term social justice warrior, which refers to the uh, incompetence of these warriors. Pretty much calling them warriors like Cervantes called Don Quixote a knight. There's a, there's a strong dose of irony in the use of that term. I'd agree with Nuwaz that uh, our uh, withdrawal from universality in, in, in normative concerns in matters of value probably isn't a good thing, but I don't think I'd uh, found it in the same place as um, the universal enlightenment, universalist enlightenment tradition in the sort of intuitive grasp of transcendent con uh, concepts open to all who are similarly situated so as to see them. I'd root them in, 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 in the natural world, as you'd probably suspect. A more concern to me is the epistemic regression, the undermining of respect for truth, of deference to cogent argument, of a willingness to admit you're wrong and to change your mind, preferring instead to simply point at notions such as truth or reason or the apparatus of science as being just another example, another voicing of white male power or something like that, as um, an exercise in interest and ridden with all kinds of dark motive and subtle subterfuge. Um, I think there are movements like that in say the strong program of the social science of knowledge or uh, the ethno methodology of people like Bruno Latour which people certainly choose to treat it as, as useful in that regard for, for, for a quick spray of science begun and your ideology doesn't have to face any kind of empirical criticism and I think that's that epistemic regression is particularly dangerous and there again is an irony because perhaps that's me being a conservative maybe I think there's something that's valuable and vulnerable that needs protecting but you know what this sort of idea that you are either one or the other a conservative on the right or a progressive on the left is a bit silly because I think we're the result of a lot of history wherein either of those situations could be true and very often I suspect one or the other was. So surely the wisdom isn't just aligning oneself with one camp or another but in cultivating a capacity to decide which is suitable in the situation that one finds oneself in uh, and when it isn't suitable and doing it as effectively as possible. So if there is something that's valuable and vulnerable, then perhaps it pays to be a bit more conservative. Whereas if there is widespread injustice, such that it's undermining um, the, the ecos of cooperation, the communities that sustain us, then perhaps we should get exercised about that. So it would seem that the conclusion of this video is that I am both a regressive leftist and a Tory. So everybody can hate me with impunity now. Thank you for listening.